I believe that helping those less fortunate than us is the main purpose of life and what brings hope to the world because I believe that. You have not lived today until you've done something for someone who can never repay you. I was 25 when the earthquake hit Haiti in 2010. Millions of people died in a blink of an eye. Worse than anyone could have imagined, a vast number of casualties that are believed to be in the thousands. Hospitals have been closed, patients have been moved out to tents to horrible scenes. But I was one of the lucky ones who survived. Ten days later, I learned that there were a volunteer doctor who had set up medical tent in the airport. I wanted to be there to see how I could help. When I got there, they let me do volunteer work as translator and transporter. In the nine months that I was there, I saw the suffering of patients that I cared for and I helped them as much as I could. Those who passed away mocked me a lot and created this fire on me to learn more about medical knowledge that I needed to save them. After learning first aid care at the airport, I studied volunteer at hospital and aid. I started working at the pediatric care unit, emergency care, intensive care, and I even became an x-ray tech. I remember telling myself, maybe I cannot do all the good that AD needs, but AD needs all the good that I can do. In 2014, I learned about AD Hair Ambulance, and I could see my future and the kind of service they provide. I found a program to quickly learn how to become an emergency medical technician, AEMT with references from doctors at the hospital I was accepted at 80 air ambulance. Every day I wake up I know my mission for the day is to help someone. This brings joy to my life. AD Ambulance is the only life line for most people that live in the rural area of AD. Because there aren't enough hospitals across AD. And most of AD's small towns or village don't have real worlds that reach them. It can take like six or seven hours for people to reach the closest hospital. But the same place only take us less than 20 minutes to reach from the capital. This means that we are able to help anyone in Haiti who need our services to survive. <laughs> We let people know that they are not alone. They can count on us to do everything we can do to save their lives without ever expecting anything in return from them. And the impact that it has on people we help, I can tell, is unbelievable, unimaginable. A 
and the seven years that I work with AD Air Ambulance, we have completed over 1,500 flights. 1,500 times where someone counted on us to save them and where my mission was to save this one life. Give hope to this one person and be there la fly from the sky. And saving people's life is the most fulfilling thing I ever done.